everyone, this is Donna from Hollywood, California. It's not just paint, it's all by Donna. And today, I'm going to do this candy mold um, that I got from Amazon. And yes, this is the one that you may have seen from pouring your heart out. And I believe uh, Julie Cuts some Halloween confetti in there and that's not what I'm going to be doing today I am going to be using uh, J Diction 4 hour demold high gloss in this and I'm using a one-to-one -one on it and I was thinking I'm going to paint Dry, dry brush, a little of this violet rain, and some of this horizon. Whoops, my little unicorn here fell off my little desk. And I'm gonna dry brush some of this inside of here. Sorry about this bit of uh, lost footage here. But uh, let's just get on with it. Now I'm making, putting a few drops of the alcohol ink. And this is in Sunset Orange. I'm gonna mix that up. And I'm going to put some of this gold leaf in here. to put that with some of the purple glitter.
So this is probably where I went wrong by adding this extra right there. I thought I was building myself a little barrier uh, before I added this, uh, this cup with the glitter. But I needed a little more in those side little tails, which I was calling them in my head. And I now realize I just added too much resin. And you'll see what happens very shortly. So up to this point, I was doing great. Here's another one of Donna's Disasters. I'm starting to wonder if I should change the name of my channel. It may not be just art by Donna. It may be Disasters. Donna's Disasters. So look at that resin just sneaking on the side there. I think it's just going to be a little bit I'm trying to open that up thinking that there's going to be room for it to sink in there but there's really just no more room so I have my little extras on the side and I had already painted with my dry this little piggies inside of them now I'm trying to put my extra glitter from inside of there into my little diamond mold that I hold for all my extra colored resin. Oh yeah, this was fun. And I probably should have put a piece of parchment down instead of working on my little tablecloth there. Yeah, another piece ruined. <laughs> that doesn't wash out, by the way. Resin doesn't wash out. Good thing I had my little spatula, which reminds me I have this really big spatula that covers a whole cake that I'm gonna be taking out. Okay, so here I am, a few hours later, ready to demold. I am really excited. gonna think I got some bubbles in this because I, uh, I did everything a little fast but let's see let's see how we did this is my first time using the four hour demold really looks nice and shiny too. Very glossy finish. I am really excited. gorgeous that is I think okay I'll have to use my uh, deburring tool a little bit this is beautiful look at that wow 
Okay, I got the effect I was looking for. I didn't want it to be too busy. And yeah, look, look how pretty. Look at the edges. Look at that. I did get, I got the one bubble, just two, the bubble at each end, one at each end. Um, I love the way the, uh, the way that gold foil and the, that glitter, just the right amount of glitter. Not too much, just enough. Gorgeous. Now this was with my leftover. And uh, let's see how this came. So that, that's interesting. That was just, uh, I just brushed a little bit inside. That's a... Uh, nice piece of stone that I can use somewhere. And here's another one. Oh, this is beautiful too. This was with the seaweed. really beautiful and this one was done with um, violet rain this little piggy beautiful now this on the side let me see <laughs> I've got this nice and glossy, and I'll put that down, and we'll we'll take a uh, we'll take a close up of that. I'm gonna take you down. Just give me a moment. So that was a four hour demold, and these were the extras that I had left over. And look how gorgeous these came out. How about that? And here it comes. Take me out to California. Take me out to California. I feel the day. Where the streets are paved with gold 